And that brings us to 7.51 here at KNEB. Time for our News Extra segment, which is presented by Gehring Civic Center. And here again, Kevin Mooney. Thank you very much, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. Veterans Day coming up on Saturday. And we have John Bram here, the Scottsbluff County Veterans Service Officer, to tell us about all the activities going on that day. So don't get confused if you're in the public when the uh, government takes the day off tomorrow. Yes. That's not Veterans Day. It's following day, right? On Saturday, yeah. Yep. Well, we're going to start off at 8 o'clock at the Western Nebraska State Veterans Home with the coffee. And the reason we do that because we want the members of the Veterans Home to feel like they're part of our the preparation for the, the program. Because over the years, they probably did a lot of it themselves you mm-hmm. know, at their different towns. Then at 11 o'clock, we have our Veterans Day Parade, which will be on East Overland, starting at 19th Avenue. Anybody would like to be in the parade, just be at 19th Avenue. We'll say at least by 10.30, and we'll get you in the parade. Be on the south side of 19th Avenue heading uh, north, and we'll get you in the parade. And then 11 o'clock, uh, then there's also at 11 o'clock, uh, an American Legion Post 36 is going to have a program over there at, at, the, at the post in Gearing. Then at 12 o'clock, there's a noon luncheon, and that's just for the participants of the parade. And that's at 12 o'clock over at the VFW on the Gearing Surplus Highway. Then one thirty, we're going to have a, uh, a Veterans Day program at the Western Nebraska State Veterans Home. Uh, and then at 6.30, we're going to have a Veterans Day banquet uh, over at the VFW on the Gearing Surplus Highway, post-1681. And everybody's invited to this. And we're hoping, since it's going to be nice weather, we're going to have a big turnout for the parade. Yeah, I would hope so. Uh, you know, some years it's been really cold, snowy. And uh, this year, you're also having it on a Saturday, so that should help a lot of people uh, participate, right? Yes, yes, and we're expecting at least to have, uh, we know we're going to have three, but I'm sh- I'm pretty sure we're going to have five bands in the parade, and that's always spectacular to see. And, you know, and it's it's going to be a nice day. Really, when it's nice, we have more people in the parade and more people to come out and see it, and we invite everybody to come out and watch the parade. It's always a, a, go- a good time. Starts at 11 o'clock, and again, uh, you line up over on 19th Avenue in East Overland on the uh, south end of the uh, south end of that area, yeah. maybe around like 10:30. Yeah, yeah. So, on south of East Overland, so we can just turn your right out on the on the onto the East Overland for the parade. All right, uh, just to go over some of the other things that are going on that day. You've got your uh, Veterans Day program that you mentioned over at the uh, Vets Home at 1:30. Uh, uh, you've got uh, Abby Sinner from Morrill High School doing the National Anthem. Uh, maybe talk about uh, who you have for a speaker that day. Uh, Brendan Rice, who's an attorney in, uh, an attorney here locally, is going to be the speaker. Uh, we have the uh, Sal, Fra- not Sal Franco. Uh, we're going to have uh, oh, Tom Aarons, who's going to read the proclamation. He's the commander of VFW Post 1681. And then we've got some other people giving remarks, and it's going to be a good program. Yeah, so it uh, happens uh, every Veterans Day over the Vets Home at one uh, thirty. You were talking about that, that coffee at 8 o'clock. And, yes. And uh, they have a, an area now where they can really get a lot of people in one particular area. Uh, that's got to be pretty special, huh? Well, it's special, but it's going to be moved this year. It's going to be in the canteen area. You, before, we had what they call the great room. Right. And now they they serve meals in there right now, I guess, for doing some remodeling. But So it's going to be in the canteen. But if anybody comes out, uh, we'll have signs or we'll be glad to show you where it's at. Okay. All right. Very good. We'll take a break, and then we'll be right back with John to talk more about some of the things going on over at the BFW Post uh, that evening as well. Having food that is consistently great is something worth talking about. Great food makes a great event. That's why the Gearing Civic Center goes the extra mile to serve great meals at every event we host. Along with the caterers, the meat shop, we are a great partnership hosting events for over 23 years in our elegant, column-free ballroom while never charging room rental if food is purchased. Visit GearingCivicCenter.com or call 436-6888. We are back on News Extra. We have John Brem here, the Scottsbluff County Veterans Service Officer. For how long now? 43 years? 43 years. will be In January 7th, it will be 44 years. Wow. Fantastic. 
So you're gonna you're gonna stay around till fifty, or what's your plan? I was hoping to make it to forty five till I was seventy five because I'm seventy three now, be seventy four in December. But who knows? Who knows? Just good Lord will determine what's gonna happen. Huh? Yeah, it just depends on how my health holds up and I hold up. So yeah, all right. Let's talk about uh, some of the other things that are going on. We talked about the parade. Oh, the parade uh, um, flyovers. Oh yeah. Uh, you're working on a fl- flyover, right? Yes. Right now, I, I've got a call from it's the Air National Guard out of Wyoming. I mean, out of, out of Colorado, over Aurora, Colorado, and they called me yesterday. We're on the list, but they have three of them to be to fly over at eleven o'clock. So I'm working with them now. Maybe we can get them to come over about ten or fifteen after. You know, and still, so they can, just so they go over the parade. We like to have them lead the parade, but we're 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 going to be flexible. Any time during the parade, if they can fly over, so I think there's a good chance it'll be two F-16s. Wow, that'd be fantastic. Uh, apparently, they're going to fly over maybe in Loveland at 11, and then in 10 to 15 minutes, they're over here. Yes, that's what they did last year, and I, I would assume they'd be the same this year. It's amazing how fast they can get over here. I talked to the pilot last year, and he said, "Oh, that's no problem. We'll be there." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty amazing how fast they can get here, and it, it should be wonderful. It'd be wonderful if we could have a flyover during the parade. All right, let's talk about the banquet a little bit. Five thirty on uh, Saturday night is uh, the hospitality hour. Six thirty is the banquet. You got a lot of stuff going on uh, Saturday night. Yeah, we have uh, Brendan Rice is going to be the or Brandon Rice, if I could pronounce his name right, is going to be the speaker. And we have a real nice program that Abby Singer is going to sing. Ron Moore is a master of ceremonies for that program, the uh, program at the Veterans Home. And it's a real nice program, and the public is invited to that also. All right. That's over at the VFW Post. It's open to the public. Usually have a pretty good crowd at that, don't you? If it's if it's if it's the weather is nice. If it's cold, we don't have much of a crowd. But yeah, well, you're going to have a good crowd because the weather is supposed to be pretty good on a Saturday night, so, uh, and that's absolutely free, right? Yes. Okay, so uh, get on over there to the VF, to the Veterans Day Banquet. Um, let's just talk, just give me uh, real quick, we got about a minute left, uh, the importance of Veterans Day to you as a veteran. Uh, what's your thoughts about that? Well, I think it's important that we uh, do things on Veterans Day show the people that, that we do honor the veterans. We honor the veterans that have expired, you know, and all the veterans now, and even the active duty people. I think it's very, very important that we show our support for them. And it's just not another day, a sale day at the mall. Yeah, exactly. we got to remember exactly what it's all about. Yeah. Right? Okay. All right, John, very good. I appreciate you uh, stopping by. Thanks for your service. Good to see you. Thank you. All right, Veterans Day programs, a lot of things uh, happening. If you have any questions about what's going on you can give the veteran service office a call 436-6643